What's up guys and good morning from Odyssey of the Seas. What are we doing this morning, Peter? We're washy washy. That's right. <laughs> One second. It's about 9.30 right now. We're up at Windjammer. Uh, and we're gonna get some breakfast. So we're gonna check that out. I think it's probably gonna be the same as yesterday, but I'll let you see what we got. And uh, it is our first sea day today here on board Odyssey, so we got a lot of activities and fun coming up for you. Uh, let us get some breakfast, sit down, have a chat, and I'll let you know what we're doing today. Oh, look at those. Those look fresh. The glaze is still hot. Whew. It's looking a little stormy out there right now. Man. Captain said it could be a little storm today. We'll see. Beautiful sea day out here today on Odyssey. Check it out. It's, uh, it's just past 10:20, and uh, the pool deck's already pretty lively. Yeah, everybody's uh, getting some sunshine in. There's a little bit of rain over here, like I said, but I think that'll. That'll stay away, so uh, let's chat just a second here. So today, here's what we got going on. Um, right now there's gonna be a little veterans appreciation thing that we're gonna go check out. Uh, there's not too much crazy going on today. I think I may try the rock wall. We definitely wanna get up in the C-plex, maybe play some games up there. There's foosball, there's pool. Of course there's a bumper cars and all that fun stuff, but I don't know if that's happening today or not. So uh, we'll definitely get there at some point and check that out though. It's a sea day, it's a relaxing sea day. We're gonna make sure that we do plenty of that, but you're definitely coming along for the ride. So if you're ready to explore and check out everything that Odyssey of the Seas has got, smash that thumbs up button and let's get it going. Yay. <laughs> it was so good, I didn't get it on video. Oh. Oh well. That was actually probably prettier than what they were going to do. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. they had a, they, they were going to play the, uh, yeah. the Star Spangled Banner. They have like a little American flag here but uh, they couldn't get the track to play. So 20, 30, 45 seconds in, yeah. everybody just starts singing, it. the whole crowd. <laughs> it was awesome, it was beautiful. Yeah. America. Shoo, man. A busy sea day out here today. Scott and I were just looking, we were like, man, should we get our bathing suits on? Should we lounge by the pool? I don't know, we get a chair by the pool. This place is packed. It's funny because you know Odyssey is one of the newer ships for Royal Caribbean. It doesn't. It's definitely skinnier than yeah. I think most Royal ships. Uh, like it doesn't. Yeah, I think it's long, but it's not wide. Especially not like no, the Oasis like class or, or even Liberty. Like the one we were with yesterday, it felt wider than this does. Right there. Here comes the North Star. It's coming down like right on top of us. Yeah. Look. There it is. Right in the sun. Look here, look what we found. Man, you got yourself a good little spot. Kim and Trish, yep. Yeah. We were passing that hot tub and I was telling him there's no way I'd be wanting to get in a hot tub right now. It is fire fire out here right now. But this would be nice. Was it really? It was raining on you? Oh my gosh. But it was like a drizzle and then it would stop. Oh, maybe when you looked outside a while ago. Maybe it was maybe. raining, yeah. I think maybe it was. They got the band out, and they got the ice cream out. Everybody's getting some ice cream right now. I'm gonna have to get me some, I haven't got any yet. We found us some chairs, right next to the girls. Trish is in the little igloo over there. She's in the summer igloo, hey Trish. She's, re is she, she's asleep, she's knocked out. Has she got her earbuds in? She lost her hearing? <laughs> She drank a drink, she didn't go blind, she lost her hearing. She lost her hearing, and she went deaf. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What'd she say? I was like, she was like, what? <laughs> we got a Bahama Mama, uh, which is chilling out on this sea day, because that is the thing to do, it seems like today. Scott got him a Coco Loco. Actually, got two Coco Locos, right? So he's feeling more Loco than Coco right now, but that's all right. He ain't got nothing to do today. He's off the clock. It's five o'clock somewhere. 
So anyway, yeah, we're getting our tan on. We're gonna chillax out here. Maybe have some lunch in a little bit. But I gotta know from you, what is your go-to sea day drink? Let me know. I want to try something new, and I need to hear from you. So what should I try next? Let me know down below. What is going on? I think our cruise ship's officially lost it. Everybody's lost it. Yep. It's time for some El Loco Fresh. Oh, I need to change out my towel. Let me do that really quick. Other side. Where at? Okay, all right. You know what, then? Scratch it. Just forget it. I'll do it later. <laughs> Head to El Loco Fresh right now. Uh, we're gonna get some lunch. And I have typically not been a fan of El Loco Fresh, but heard a couple people talk about it, said it's really good on this ship, so I'm willing to give it another chance. So let's check it out and see what it's all about. Washy, washy, wash your head. That's right. El Loco Fresh. They have tacos, nachos, burritos, quesadillas. It's all good, right? It's all good. Okay. All right. Thank you. A hot plate. That is a hot plate. Good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you know it's clean. Okay, let's see. So we got nachos, chili beef, cheese sauce. What is this? Uh, chicken burritos, beef burritos. What's in the burritos? It doesn't really say, does it? I mean, I, maybe it's just chicken? I don't know. Chicken and cheese, maybe? That's it. I don't know. Let's, let's see what's down here. Okay, so here's the build your own tacos. Just get us a, get us a tortilla. Open that thing up. Let me get one more. We're gonna do two, two chickens, so let me see if I can open these things up here. Oh, that's a lot. Oh yeah, this is much better. My biggest complaint with El Loco Fresh is actually kind of ironic, is that it didn't taste fresh. Um, they've definitely fixed that. Or maybe that was just a unique, what was that, Oasis of the Seas problem? Maybe that was unique to Oasis at the time that we were sailing. Um, but like, for example, the chips, they tasted stale on Oasis. I'm not kidding you, it tasted like the bag had been left open from two cruises ago. Uh, these taste really, really fresh, it's good. Two thumbs up. As for the buffet, uh, look at that. Look at that rotisserie chicken. That looks good. Oh man, look here. We got grilled pork chops, roasted rosemary potatoes, grilled chicken skewers. That's yummy stuff. We have chicken schnitzel today. Wow. They got good stuff here on the buffet today. Oh, All right, Pete, you and me, buddy. What are we doing? What? You're not gonna do the rock wall. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna check out the rock wall. The rock wall is free here on Royal Caribbean, so definitely check it out. Here on Odyssey, it looks like they've got several different courses. I'll be doing the little kitty course over here. Like, doing doing that that Listen to him, man, everybody's a critic. Josh, when you're editing this, just so you know, you're doing the hardest one. <laughs> oh, he's gone off the yellow. Oh, oh Josh. Yeah. All right, so we did it. Uh, sorry, it was like yellow. Uh, our wonderful cameraman over there forgot to defog the lens and it was hot and sweaty out here. Now we've just been sitting here watching watching everybody do the little ropes course and stuff, so. That's right. Yeah. You took part. That's, That's right. It's not that we need you to take him part of the camera. That's right. Holy guacamole. I hope this isn't the line for the bumper cars. Oh my gosh. Look at the line. Wow. That is. They just they just moved up. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. Hey, we found the foosball. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. I think that's a party foul.
They held it down. They did it. Good job. Good job. You did it. Uh, it was close. It, it was close. It was close. That's some good fun. What thing? All right, Trish said, Trish said that she found out how to make a blue Hawaiian for eight dollars, y'all, here at the Bionic. So yep. show it to us. Okay. We want to see. Spirits. Okay. We do Malibu. Hold on, I'm trying to get there. Go ahead, spirits and then Malibu. Yep. And then spirits again. And you're gonna do the blue carousel, of course. Yep. And then you're gonna go to mixers. Uh huh. And you're gonna do pineapple. Okay. Mixers again. Uh huh. Sweet and sour. Okay. And Eight dollars so far. Yep. And then you're going to add ice. Okay. And then shake it. Uh huh. And then go to spirits. Nope. Mixers. Sprite. Okay. Stir. Mm hmm. And then I like putting a garnish in. So oh yeah. Lemon or lime. Lemon. Lemon. All right, and then you're good to go in like $8. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. So how much how much liquor is there total? Two shots. Two shots. Oh, there it comes. Hey, there's your drink. What did y'all get? $2.70 Coca Loco. Oh, hey lady, look at this pretty thing. What do you got? Ooh, good. Welcome to Formal Night, our first one here on Odyssey of the Seas. We've just gotten in. I think we finally have our seats. So we've got this round table here with the Brits. Hello. It's a late dinner for them, I think. Well, it's probably what? Is it past midnight there? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. Yeah, it's one o'clock there. That's a late meal for them for sure. It's dinner time for me. It's dinner time. It's dinner time for you now. <laughs> It's not dinner time for you over there. Oh, you work nights. Oh, so this is normal schedule for you then. Oh, good. They're just adjusting to your schedule this trip. Very good. <laughs> and then we have this table over here. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So it seems that we finally have a set schedule. That's really nice, a set table, yeah. Peter, Peter's excited about that. So, so let me let you take a look. I'm excited for the menu tonight. It is a taste of France. Uh, we've got some French food on the menu, and it looks pretty yummy. Take a look, let me know what you would have down below. Good. What would you be having? There we go. Up there's the chef's recommendations. I think I'm gonna go in that middle one, that roasted tenderloin. That one looks really, really good. Uh, creme brulee, of course you can't go wrong with that either. There's your main courses, and then the desserts down below. Like I said, that creme brulee looks really yummy, but also the warm apple cobbler. I think I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna do the apple cobbler. We're gonna, we're gonna tackle that one tonight, okay? That looks really good. All right, dinner so far I think is getting two thumbs up from me. What about you guys? You guys like it? I like it a lot. It's good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Look, two thumbs up. Wow, you guys did it. Good job. Thank you for following your cues. <laughs> what did you get over here? Do we all have the same thing? Is it pretty much just the curry or whatever? That's the curry. That's beef bourguignon. He had the chicken breast, beef bourguignon, and the curry. Peter had the tenderloin and the bourguignon. I had the tenderloin and um, I, I, like I said, I give it two thumbs up. I don't know what else to say. It, it was fantastic, it was great. Everything's cooked to perfection. It's super tender. Uh, the mashed potatoes are creamy. Asparagus cooked absolutely perfect. So um, they did great with French night tonight. I, I, we were just saying overall, we've been really impressed with the, the, the food options here on Odyssey of the Seas. They seem to know what they're doing. They seem to have it together back there. Uh, Not even so. like the options. The options were the same as like other ships, but the quality is like so much better. It's like really hot and like really fresh here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, uh, two thumbs up. How is the amazing main dining room service so far? Oh, Scott. <laughs> I think this is the best dessert I've ever had on a cruise ship. Um, I, I'm a bit blown away right now at how good this is. 
No, it's not the creme brulee. No, it's not the chocolate melted cake. It is this heavenly gift from above that they're calling the apple crumble with a salted caramel-esque ice cream. Uh, it, it is magnificent. I, I have nothing bad to say about it. I wouldn't change a thing. It's, it's a, a great, you know, uh, crumble to apple ratio. A lot of times these things, it'll be like 90% fruit oh, this, and, and, you know, 10% crumble. They, they changed it because they never used to come on this boat. Mm -hmm. It used to be in like a little tiny round. Mm -hmm. like, like it was in a little round and it wasn't little nearly round. as good. You know, we, we had to wait um, a few extra minutes for dessert and I was wondering what was taking so long. I'm totally thankful for the wait now. It's hot, it's fresh, it was just, it was really good. Yeah. The creme brulee I thought was all right. I didn't end up getting one. I thought it was okay. I would have liked my crust to been uh, thicker, harder. Um, this is magnificent. Do yourself a favor and get this on French night if they have that on your uh, on your cruise with Royal Caribbean. You you certainly will not be regretting this one. Hello, good evening. Oh, all right. Coming into the effectors. The effectors, it's the uh, like the head show besides the book in 270. It's like the main theater's main show. And uh, they said here. they got chairs up here, but I don't think we should sit up here. Hold on. The effectors. Oh! Welcome to the Royal Theatre. Well, hello. Before the show, a few important announcements. <sighs> All right, I guess it's it, it's somebody's cup of tea, but it sure ain't mine. The effectors. It was uh, it, it was good, you know, whatever. The drones were cool. That's what everybody was there to see. So that part was cool. Everything else I wouldn't write home about. But I would challenge you go see it. Form your own opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen it. What did you think?